Hey there, what's up? This is Paul Murphy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to seamlessly integrate Kartra with EverWebinar or Webinar Jam 4.0. Um, and the great news is that um, they're all owned by the same company. So Genesis Digital is the parent company and their free softwares are EverWebinar, Web Webinar Jam and Kartra. I was getting a bit tongue-tied there. So, um, so they've made it really simple for us to integrate. So first of all, like, why would you want to use your own landing page when they have landing pages? So that could be for a number of reasons. First of all, for your own branding, right? You can actually create the page to look how you want. Um, you have much more flexibility inside a Kartra. You can actually um, change these pages a little bit, but they're kind of limited. And obviously, you've, you've got, only got these templates. I mean, they are pretty good, but you are limited to what they've given you inside of here. So with Kartra, obviously, we can build our own landing pages. We can use our own domain names, which is really good for running ads. Ads tend to prefer it if we're running traffic to our own property, right? Um, and also, we can put our privacy policies, our Facebook disclaimers, and all that sort of good stuff on there so that we don't get our like accounts banned or anything like that. So there could be a number of reasons why you wanted to do this. Um, but the great thing is, obviously, like I said, this is seamless with Kartra and Webinar Jam and EverWebinar because they're all the same company. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come into your webinar. Uh, and again, this is this applies to both Webinar Jam and EverWebinar. It's the same in each one. So I'll show you in this one in EverWebinar. But if you're running Webinar Jam, obviously just copy the same process. So you want to come to this third tab. And then rather than selecting their page here, you want to select your own one here. And, and in here, you just want to drop in your URL. So this is my page here that I've created inside of Kartra. So um, obviously when you publish it, you're gonna get your URL once you've published it. Now, obviously, if you have, um, I'll just show you this, just in case you're not aware of this, but basically, obviously, if you don't have your own domain set up, you'll have your kind of Kartra domain here. I would not recommend using that if you're running paid ads. So I'd recommend uh, attaching your own domain as soon as possible. Um, and then obviously you can select your own domain once it's attached, give it a nice, neat name. So I've got mine exclusive masterclass. So this is the one here, and then we're gonna just drop that in there, which we've already done. Press save, and what that then means is, that's kind of all we need to do in here for now. Uh, we'll just come to the end. Um, I probably don't need to go to the end, but I just wanna make sure that it doesn't, it does it right, you know, it actually saves it all correctly. So in here, we're just gonna go into our links, and this is the actual registration form for your event. Now, the great thing is they've actually changed this in EverWebinar. You can brand this link as well. So you could actually, if you want to, so I've branded that now, that is gonna be the name of my webinar, which means that it doesn't have like lots of gobbledygook on the end. So uh, we're just gonna drop that into a browser and just check that our page is coming up. Fab, this is really cool. So what I'm actually going to show you how to do, you actually now have two options in the new webinar, Jam and Ever webinar. You have this sticky bar at the bottom of the page, which is really good. And you also have the ability to put it in a button. And then what will happen is, is that this will come up like this. Um, and you can obviously, they can choose their time and register like they normally would. And this is going to be stuck to the page at the bottom and it's exactly the same as the, as the button, but they have an option to register there. So I'm gonna show you both, obviously, because depending on what you're doing, you might want one or the other. I've actually got both on here, just because I think that looks quite nice at the bottom there. Um, and you can actually recolor this as well. So first of all, what you need to do is, uh, we'll start with the button. So the first thing is obviously you need a button on your page. Um, so I've got this button here, but obviously if you haven't got a button, you can just grab a button put it in and you can configure it how you want. So we're gonna use this one, right? So this is our button that we've got. So all we need to do is come over to the link tab here and whatever it's selected up here, you just need to reselect this one here that says pop up a webinar registration form. And this will pop up and these will be empty. Now what we need to do, I've actually already done this, but what we need to do is we need to come into our webinar. Okay, so this is our webinar here. Um, and when you've created your webinars, they'll all be listed sort of down here. And then we just go into this advanced tab here. And then we ignore these two and we just come over to this one that says API custom registration. And these are the two that we need to keep notice of. 
So we've got our member ID and our webinar hash. So this one here is the first one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to drop that into there. So I'll just pretend it's not in there. So that's done. And then we want the webinar hash, which is this one. And we're gonna drop that into here and press apply. And then we would do the same for the other buttons. I've already done it as you can see. So webinar registration, I mean, sometimes you might wanna just clone that and drop you know, drop a few more buttons in your page. Just make sure all your buttons are done with, with that. And that's in there. And again, like you'll see, it's exactly the same for Webinar Jam. So if you're using Webinar Jam, you just need to select this one instead of this one and do exactly the same process. There's, it's, it's identical. So that's that. And then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna put the banner in. So this is pretty cool. So what we'll do here is we're gonna to go to, we're gonna come out of that advanced tab. We're gonna go into your links here. Okay, then we're gonna to go to this one that says embed in your website. And you'll see that we've got this registration bar. Now, um, when they first launched this a week ago, they hadn't got some of these features. They've just added some extra features in, which is like such a godsend because this bar was only blue. And in fact, in the old webinar jam, in the old webinar jam ever webinar, when you actually, the, all you had was the button and you only had this blue button that said register. Okay, that was it. And it was, you could, you could recode it, but it was quite difficult. So what they've now included is some custom coding in here. But of course, because we're using it inside of Kartra, we can create our button how we like inside of Kartra. So if you're using any other service, you can use this or you can see the video up here. If you're using click funnels or anything like that, where you want to actually create an even more custom button, you can see that button up there where, where I've actually um, shows you show you how to create the button to look exactly how you want. You can have the board how you want, you can have the font how you want, you can have the font size how you want. So that's up there if you want to use it on any other site. But for Kartra, all we actually need is um, the, the webinar hash and the webinar code, but we're gonna do the, this registration bar. All we need is this, okay? And what we're gonna do here, the first thing I wanna do actually is I wanna get the, um, the color right. Now I'm gonna show you how to change that. So this is the color of my button. So all I wanna do is I wanna actually get that, that bar at the bottom to match this and this. I've actually, in these icons, I matched it to match the button, right? So we would just grab this color here Okay, so that's, I oh, will do that again. There we go. And then we're going to put bar color in here. I'm just gonna drop that in. So that's gonna be the same color as the button. Now we can obviously put what we want in here. So I like to put something like register for free. And I might put the button color, I might make that a little bit darker, so it stands out a bit. Obviously, you can have it red, whatever you want, really. Um, I think black and yellow work quite well together. So I'm going to do that. And then and, and then we press apply, and it's going to change this code down below here. And then we're going to grab this code. Okay, we're going to come over to Kartra. Okay, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the settings, and we're going to go into tracking code. And you'll see this, it's here in the footer. So I'm going to delete that just to show you that it works. So let me just delete that first and just show you it without so you'll see ah oh, we have to wait for that to let's just publish that live so you can see right so that's done so what we'll do is we'll just do a refresh on this and that should disappear and it has as you can see and uh, so we're going to grab this code here so we've got this register for free and we're gonna copy that in, and we're gonna put this into here, into the footer, and then press apply. And then we're just gonna publish that. And if we come back to our page, just do a quick refresh, and then we should have our banner. Now that will apply as well, that banner code that you can use, you can use that in anything. So if you were using it in ClickFunnels or anything like that, you just need to put it into your, your custom CSS, okay, and then just put it um, not in the head, basically anywhere in the body or the footer, it's absolutely fine. 
um, and that should work. Um, but with that one, that's how that works. And obviously we've got the, the custom, this actually now matches this and the rest of the branding. And when they press this, they'll be able to sign up for uh, the webinar the same as if they press this button. Now, a lot of people don't even bother have the buttons on there, but obviously you can just decide how you want. I quite like the way, the way that looks. So that is how you integrate um, your buttons inside a cart or your pages so that they actually are linked to Webinar Jam and have webinar. And uh, I told you it was seamless, right? So there you go. Go, go and have some fun with that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.